to uh to share with any of y'all that are interested um this weekend on sunday i'm gonna be entering a banjo contest um it's in gulf shores alabama it's called the it's a i think it's a fine arts festival and that they have a fiddle and a banjo competition there as well um it's called a uh, ballyhoo or ballyhoo however you say it um, but yeah, I reached out to the lady that, that, I guess, I guess she's like the event coordinator. Um, but the, when I looked, you know, I've been kind of keeping my eyes out because I knew that I wanted to do some other ones or some other competitions that were, you know, it, at least somewhat closer to me. And, uh, I looked at their rules a lot of times, the ones that I've seen, the rules are very comprehensive. Like, you have three minutes to do such and such. You know, it's got like a, at least like a couple paragraphs of rules. No singing, like different things. Um, but this one didn't have really any rules. I mean, other than, you know, it says basically you have three song are you for the banjo section um the competitor will play three songs and it's basically judged on like a hundred point system but you know like i don't remember the categories but you know like originality what you know 20 points and it's basically like there was five different criteria i guess or whatever that they would judge on uh, I can't remember the exact ones, but but you get the gist of it. So, but I because they were so vague, I reached out to her like a week ago or so, and you know just asked. I was like, "Is this like a bluegrass banjo?" And uh, basically, um, they said it was any kind of banjo. <laughs> so I figured. If it's any kind of banjo, I'll go down there and give it a shot anyways. Get on the stage and play for some folks. So, um, the entry fee for it, I, there is no entry fee for it. And then there's a chance of money. I think the it has like an online form and then, um, and then a, like a mail-in link. And one of them says like first prize is four hundred, and I think the other one says two fifty. So I'm assuming that's the two fifty one. That's the way I'm assuming. But then again, I'm not going down there. Like I mean, I'm going down there wanting to win. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not going down there expecting to win, especially, uh, you know, financially banking on it or anything like that. So. But yeah, I'm going to go down there and, and give it a shot. I really enjoyed it. I went to the, the Smithville Fiddler's Jamboree uh, last summer. I didn't place or anything like that, but I still enjoyed it. Uh, so I'm going to go down there and give it a shot. And uh, I think there's another one that's probably a little, I think it's a little bit, you know, it's it's in the springtime too. In Alabama, it's more north, so it's closer to me than, than this one that I'm also going to probably go to or plan on going to. But And then there's a couple that hopefully this year in Middle Tennessee, I may go back to the Smithlers, or the Fiddlers, Jamboree, and Smithville. And then I want to go to uh, the Uncle Dave Making Days 
I just seen not that long ago that they're changing the event um, venue from Cannonsboro to uh, um, Hot Springs, and uh, it's like it's a brewery out there, like a brewery and a park. It's a really big area. I used to live where I lived in Middle Tennessee. I probably only lived 25 minutes from it, and I had been there a couple times. It's a really nice area. And it's a little bit out of the city of Murfreesboro, so. But anyways, I just wanted to let any of y'all that might be interested in that know. And, uh, you know, if uh, if you're interested in how I do or how it goes or anything, just leave a comment. And, uh, you know, if it's a couple people, I'll just reply to you in the comments how it went. Um... If it's more than a couple, then I'll just make a video of it. But uh, other than that, that's all I want to share with y'all. Oh, and the the banjo piece is um it's not a perfect, it's not exactly, but uh, it's just what I figured from Uncle Dave Macon's uh, Cannon County Hills. Uh, it's also the 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 basic melody of it pretty much sounds like a, what is the song called? Cabin by the Lake, I think. I think that's what it is. But I always enjoyed the Cannon County Hills a whole lot more. But the same thing, I used to live 10, 15 minutes away from, uh, well really, like I lived on... <sighs> I lived in on the Warren County and Cannon County line, or really close to it. So I lived pretty close to Short Mountain, which is in Cannon County. So I've always enjoyed that song a little bit better. It meant a little bit more to me than the than the other one. So, but I think that's all I got for y'all. So thank y'all for checking it out.